today's subscription spot, we are having a look at another box from the folks over at Geek Me Box. Interested in a box of geek delivered to your house every single month? Click the link down below and subscribe today. Though this box has seen better days, unfortunately due to my postal service, love them. Uh, it looks like everything's still arrived safe and sound. Let's take my knife. Got Hank here. We're going to open this up, cut the tape on the front, and we're going to find out what we got this month from the folks over at Geek Me Box. First thing, we are treated to some tissue paper. Just move this out of the way. I'm kind of revealing everything in, along the process of it. Let's take the tissue paper and move that out of the way. First things first, let's look at the t-shirt. I always like looking at t-shirts first. That's my thing. I don't have many red t-shirts, so this is nice. And we've got a Back to the Future 2 inspired real Ghostbusters. That's kind of neat. I like that. They all have the Marty jackets, the, the Reeboks, I think they were Reeboks shoes, and of course the hoverboards. That's that's clever. I like that. Put that to the side. We also get ourselves Doodle Jump Mini Doodles Series 1 Mystery Figure Pack. It has a bonus mystery figure inside. On the back, Doodle Jump Mini Doodles Series 1 Mystery Figure 2 Pack. It says oodles of doodles to collect. Hidden bonus hidden do uh, figures inside. Collect them all. This comes to us from the folks over at Goldie. Goldie, I'd love to get this zombie. Let's open this up. Of course, I have to open this up and find out what we're gonna get inside. And I think, I don't wanna guess, I think we might have actually gotten the zombie. We got first the equivalent of like Frankenstein's monster in doodle form. Doodle jump, got four legs, big snout. Kinda looks like Cubert. Maybe inspired by Kubert, a little Frankenstein's monster. To go along with the Frankenstein's monster, we open up the mystery figure. And luckily, as I'd, as I'd hoped, we get a little business zombie doodle. He wants brains. He works for a living. It's just because you, you may want brains, but brains don't come cheap, my friend. With brains, you need money. And with money, you get brains and power. So there's the little two doodle jumps that we got. One Frankenstein's monster, one zombie in the perfect vein of Halloween coming up very, very soon. There's the two doodle jumps. I'm gonna put those guys right there. Moving along, we also have, oh, we don't wanna do that just yet. That's the reveal card. That's the reveal that tells us what we are getting. I like the surprise. We also have ourselves an air freshener, Spider-Man, air freshener. My car is long overdue for an air freshener, not to say it stinks, it doesn't, but I like to come into the car and be able to smell something refreshing. I can't actually smell what this smells like. I hope it doesn't smell like spiders. Hang on your vehicle, home or office, hang only from string, keep off all surfaces. Classic look, look of Spider-Man there, I like that. I'll put that to the side. Next, we have a car and fridge magnet featuring the Merc with the Mouth Deadpool. That's a good magnet. That's a good size magnet. Car and fridge magnet from Marvel from Atta Boy Inc. www.atta-boy.com. I like that quite a bit. Put that over there. Next, we have, oh, what do we got here? Transformers collectible figures and 3D puzzle piece. I didn't. I heard of these, but unfortunately, once again, it was one of those things in Canada we just never got. Series one from Hasbro. Figurines are non-articulated with no movable parts. Come on, Optimus Prime. You did so well with the zombie. Come on, Optimus Prime. Come on. Come on is what I have to say. Come on. And instead, he did not. It looks like we got Starscream. Comes with a display stand. I think that's a display stand. It says, Thrilling 30 2014 Transformers. It is a stand. And it looks like we got Transformers Prime Starscream. Which, 
All things considered, for it being a departure from a traditional looking Starscream, I always thought that Prime's Starscream was kind of cool looking. Very slimy as well. And we got along with that a voucher, a little pamphlet, telling us all the characters. And again, we got ourselves Starscream. Number nine from Transformers Prime. There's also Generation One op uh, Transformers and also movie Transformers. Which looks more heavily into, uh, I would say, Dark of the Moon Transformers. That's what they look like on the back, back of the pamphlet. And we got ourselves a puzzle piece. Ooh, look at that. I think that's lenticular. When you have the multiple... It's basically an image like this, so when you flip it, it, it kind of has a motion to it. And it's old Generation 1 Prime, so of course I'm going to love that. The back, Transformers Prime, Starscream, uh, along with a stat card. Again, I never saw these before. For the fact that they're not posable, which I always find is kind of a deal breaker, but you know, sometimes little PVC figures are kind of cool too. That Scar Starscream is where it's at. Lots of paints, decent enough sculpt, a little cute, simplified Starscream. Put that to the side. So far, pretty good. Nice little haul inside. And finally, we got ourselves the Titans vinyl figures. Now, Spots already done a review of these, which may or may not be coming up around the time that I post the review of this, but uh, we've already opened these up. So let's see who we get in the Titans vinyl figures. And by the way, the figures consist of Zool, the Terror Dog, Keymaster, Gozer, Stay Puff, Stay Puff variant, a Slimer, I'm thinking a slimed Vankman, the other side, Spangler Stans, Vankman, Zedmore, Stance, a variant of Stance, a variant of Slimer, the Ecto-1, and Janine. So without further ado, let's open this up. And see what we got. Love to get a Terror Dog. But we shall see. No, instead, we got ourselves... Egon... We got Egon, Egon Spangler. Comes with a proton pack. Is it detachable? No, it's not. We can put his proton wand into his hand. Just, luckily, he doesn't have to cross the streams because there's nobody else around. There's Egon. He likes to collect spore, spores, mold, and fungi. He does have posability. His head does rotate. And also his arms rotate. A nice little collectible piece. I won't give anything away in case you have not seen or I have not posted the review of the Titans vinyl figures, but I have not, I did not get Egon, I'll just tell you that. So that I can add that to my collection. Speaking of collection, we got ourselves a nice little collection. Let's review the card that came included. The Titans vinyl figure from Ghostbusters, a Deadpool car and fridge magnet, which I will be putting onto my fridge. Mini Doodle Jump Mystery 2-Pack, and the Transformers 30th Anniversary Blind Bags. Oh, and also, and also, we got air fresheners. There was a Deadpool available, but we got Spider-Man. And the GeekMeBox.com exclusive t-shirt featuring the real Ghostbusters depicting Ghostb uh, Back to the Future 2. If you guys are interested in having Geek Me Box for... Uh, now, this one was August 2015, but if you are interested in having Geek Me Box come to your house every single month, click the link down below and subscribe today. Today's subscription spot, we're having a look at the Geek Me Box for August 2015. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next.